this time around, there's no bandages. And thus concludes my review of The Invisible Man. Sorry, I had to, <laughs> had to make a bad joke of just, you know, nothing being there since it's Invisible Man. Um, this, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't rent it on pay-per-view back when the pandemic started just because I, I like it and I, uh, I was interested enough to uh, to purchase it so I mean it's not it, it's not like I haven't paid for it but uh, I think if I'd went to the theater or I would have rented it for $20 Without the extra replayability value, probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. The first half is very thick to me. Uh, never can remember her name, Elizabeth Miles. Uh, she's she likes to play people that get victimized. I mean, yes, yeah, she turns it around. It seems like in most things, but at least for the first half of a lot of things. She likes to play the victim, and in this, she's an abused uh, wife, and at the very beginning, you see her trying to sneak around to get out of her home because her husband has uh, pretty much confined her to her home, and she gets away uh, has her friend I believe her sister one um, I think it's her friend though um, waiting or has texted her to come get her and her husband appears out of nowhere when she does get in her friend's car and pops the window you know and tries to uh, drag her back out and stuff so very abusive relationship and the first well most of the movie does deal with PTSD and mental illness uh, you don't know at least this is me and I'm the same type of person that watched George Romero's Martin and even though he's putting in fake uh, <laughs> vampire teeth you still don't know is he really a vampire? You know, is he not? Because in this you don't know, is she? For a long time you don't know. Is she hallucinating? Is she not? Uh, is, you know, what's going on? Um, she gets institutionalized and, and many other things. The, the first half of the movie though, quite a quite a bit of uh, it's a little slow and it's quite a bit of PTSD the second the back half picks up and it's pretty good so if if it looks interesting to you give it a watch and if it's slow just give it a minute it gets better in the end and that's all I've got for y'all today yeah. I may do a German video tomorrow I do not know if I feel like it um and the next uh, one of these reviews will be something old. I don't know why yet. But something old next Saturday. So we'll see y'all then.